All right. So today, or this afternoon, this is our camp trailer. It's a 2017 reserve made by Crossroads. Came with a equalizer hitch so we can double pull, but there's no wiring. So I'm going to take and put some wiring on it today. At least start to anyway. So what I'm going to do is right up here I can get in underneath. There's the hitch. So I'm going to try to, let's see. I think if I, I can feel right here there's a lip and I think I can feel the the wiring for the trailer goes right past here I'll show you inside so my idea is make a little hole something I can fill up with some sealant when I'm done then we'll tie this on to around the hitch so I don't pull too much through Let's go in and find it. So let's see, D. Can you see what I did? Let's see. I think you can. Yeah. So I just poked a little hole through the bottom there. Let's go in and I'll show you what we're going to do. So this trailer sits underneath this awning. We got a boat too. We're toy poor here, but these awnings, if you want something to last, you gotta keep it out of the weather. When you're using it and taking care of it, it you know, you're good, but them just sitting out in the weather in the winter and the sun just destroys them. So this boat has never, since I've owned it, has never spent a winter that it wasn't under a cover or in a building and it's an 85 and the boat itself is in phenomenal condition this awning here is 12 feet has 12 foot legs it's a tall bugger and we had it built when we had a motor home and we had a tongue pull after the motor home and now we have this fifth wheel but as you can see it's covered I don't no snow or sun beats on it and they'll last forever okay looks like my battery's about to die so let me change the battery okay so I got a new battery let's go in here and I'll show you where I'm gonna make this connection for my trailer lights If I can get in here. Okay, so we're in the trailer. <laughs> and I just did some some 
things, you know, as you buy these, you got to be handy. RVs are not uh, easy. They require a lot of work. So, when we bought it, this shelf is 24 inches deep and it's about 20 inches wide. And it didn't have any supports in the middle, so my wife was afraid that it was going to cave in. So I just put these in. These are one by twos. I screwed it here. I can't. You can't really see. I screwed it in the back, and then I glued it with uh, with uh, wood glue. So each one of these got a brace. Uh, we, this thing has two TVs. <laughs> We've got a full-size queen bed up on the top here. We've got a 40-inch flat screen up here. Pretty nice. Actually, it's nicer than my house, but anyway, shot from up here. Okay, let's go back and I'll show you where I'm going to be making these wire connections. Get us some light. Come on. All right, here we go. So we got to go back under the bed. There's an access port into the tub, and then right down there are the wires. So we don't have very good lighting. Let's see if I can. It's got this thermal barrier stuff. Just made a little hole in it. All right. So there's my wire right there I don't know how I'm gonna give us enough light so you can see what's going on but let's see Okay, I'll be back. Maybe you'll be able to see what's going on, but I'm going to pull these wires up like this. I'm going to skin them back, and then I'm going to solder the new wires on. So hopefully maybe you'll be able to see that. If not, I'll show you what it looks like after, but uh, I've got to get some more tools. Okay, don't want to lose my, don't want to lose my phone. All right, so this is going to be a tough one, but let's see what we can do. So what I'm doing is I'm separating this wire. This is a Siamese wire. It has a, it's two wires together. They used a lot of this in this trailer. Okay, so the idea is to skin the wire always do the hardest one first 
working with a new razor blade. This is the this is the uh, running lights wire. Okay, I brought my side cutters here to help. Okay, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, so I'm not going to film it. But you get the idea. I'll bring you back and show you the finished product. Okay, Let's see if I can get back here. Okay, so there's my connections. So I soldered and taped. Shouldn't get any moisture back here. So I don't have to worry about corrosion but that's where they connect there so now we'll go out and work on getting the plug on the other end all right so here's the wire for the lights there's the plug there's the plug that I'm going to put in and then that's the bracket and then I've got some LED lights I'm going to put in the tail lights so what I'm going to do is I've got my welder out I'm going to clean a spot off on the bumper and then I'm going to uh, You know, weld it on. So let's see if let's see how that works. You gotta clean wherever you're gonna weld. So I think I'm going to put it just off of the just off of the center so I can get my chains on. So now Okay, let me sit you out of the way.
lose your touch. Anyway, that's the bracket. Hopefully it's in a good spot. Doesn't get tore off. So now what you want to make sure you do is put the wire through it like that and then uh, so that when you put this through it's in the right spot and that's how that'll end up so I don't know how much of that you saw but the brackets on I'll hit those welds with a little black paint to seal them up and we should be good I'll show you when it's all done okay it's all wired up I didn't spend a lot of time with the wiring because that's something you can find on line and if I hooked it up wrong I don't want anybody to know I hooked it up wrong <laughs> but I've got my boat hooked to it I'm gonna uh, go back the truck up to it now and uh, make sure that everything works and uh, I'll show you that So I got my truck hooked to it. I can see that the boat got lights on the trailer. Turned the park lights on. So we got lights on the trailer. I turned the emergency flashers on. Got one emergency flasher. Okay, so that part's working. We gotta go wiggle the plug. See if it's just a... Okay, got something going on with the right side. It's not flashing on the trailer. Truck's flashing. Let me go see if we popped a fuse. These new trucks have uh, fuses underneath the hood to protect your trailer lights. Let's try something else. Let's just go check. So the truck's flashing. We still have park lights. So let's go see if it's the signal, the views underneath the
Okay. Number four. Where's number four? One, four. Right there. Interesting. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, well, I'll have to figure it out and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so I put these LED bulbs in and for some reason, and maybe they're supposed to work that way, but they were causing the problem with the lights. I took these LED replacement lights out and put in their old incandescent bulbs and everything worked. So I've had this trouble before with uh, these plug-in LED lights. Uh, I did some wiring on a uh, 40, a 50, 1950. Uh, Ford panel and they put I wired it and put incandescent bulbs and then they took the incandescents and tried to put LEDs in and they just weren't compatible for some reason I don't know if the they weren't matched drawn enough current to make the flasher work or whatever but yeah so I just took those LED bulbs out and put the incandescents and it's back together and it works so we're good to go but that's that project I uh, got the welder back in the shop one step closer here's the tin for the uh, they call it a plenum for the heater so we're one step closer got me a six inch hole saw there to cut the hole but we won't do that until next week I got too many things going on we're getting ready to go do some camping I'm gonna try to go camping and so I've got the, to work on that stuff gotta get my motorcycle out and the hitch in the back of the truck and all kinds of things like that so anyway until next time